My name is Emma. Stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats. And today I am back, as promised, with like a homey vlog. It's a pack with me, but with a difference. It's going to be me like trying on outfits, showing you some of the stuff I'm going to be taking. It is going to be showing you some kind of plus style fashion, some new stuff, some old stuff that you might be able to get on vintage. I'm very excited. Just looking outside, the sun is out and the washing is on the line. What an absolute joyful view. Also, good news today is Hello Fresh Day. Yes, as you know, we've been having it for so long. We have three meals a week. It's super convenient because we have, the kids have six clubs between them. They're not going to the same clubs. So Stephen and I are like ships that pass in the night. So it's really nice to know that we're going to have three meals that we can sit together. We can pick. It's the perfect portions. So we know we're not going to waste anything. Um, but let's have a little look of what I've ordered for this week. And um, then also I will show you what Stephen produces for us. Oh my, it's always so yum. As I said, HelloFresh is super convenient. Um, each meal comes in a little pack with everything that you need, so you don't have to rush out and nip and get anything, or you're not buying stuff and you've got too much left over. And of course, we love the classic, the recipe cards. What would we do without them? So this week we have gone for, oh my gosh, and the sun comes out on cue. We've gone for chicken korma style curry, which we, with the green beans, that's my favorite one with the green beans, we love the green beans. Sausage cheeseburger. Now this is one that we've not had before with wedges and roasted garlic slaw. Yes, please. And finally, uh, sticky sweet chief chi blah, 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 that's a mouthful. Sticky sweet chili beef noodles. Um, so yeah, super convenient, super easy, and I will show you what Stephen makes us. I'm hoping, I don't know what he's gonna go for, but I'll show you when he finishes it. Stephen knocked it out of the ballpark again with this absolutely fab sausage cheeseburger. It's gorgeous with the coleslaw, so easy to follow the recipe card. Stephen, you are a legend. This is the bit I love. <laughs> Put a QR on the screen. QR code, Viv. Um, go and click the QR code or whatever you do with the QR code. And of course, I've got a discount for you. It is going to be 60% off your first box then 25% off your next eight boxes. We love it. It's something that is ingrained in our weekly family life. We 10 out of 10 recommend it. So be sure to go and check out HelloFresh. And now I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna get the process of getting what dresses out that I wanna wear and then showing you a little fashion show, a little fashion show between friends. A bit like the, the, the scene in Sex and the City where she comes out and she does that and then you all at home hold up signs saying, keep. <laughs> I hope that makes sense to you. Hello, you lovely ones. The sun is shining. I've done my makeup. I've got my dressing gown on. Not gonna lie, I feel a little bit hot, but I thought I've gotta put it on for this portion of the video, otherwise I'll be struck off YouTube. So now we are going to be doing some um, packing with me. If you wanna see stuff that I packed for the kids, Go and check out a Primark haul I did, and I also did a Sainsbury's haul. That'll show you all the kids' stuff. I'm pretty much 95% packed for the kids. My phone's on charge. I did, like, a list on my phone. If you remember rightly, last year when I went on a week's holiday, I forgot to pack loads and loads and loads of stuff. So this year I made... I did all the packing and then anything that's needed, I've packed, made in a list so I can just like tick it off, you know, on your phone. Do you ever do that on your phone? It's very handy, you can tick it off. So I've just, I've got a few things for them to pack, like underwear and Ethan needs like another baseball hat and stuff. So just bits and bobs. So today I'm gonna do a pack with me. I'm gonna show you some looks. I'm gonna pull some looks like a fashion designer, but really it's a 45 year old woman getting Sainsbury's dresses out of her Ikea wardrobe. Some of the stuff is gonna be new, so you'll still be able to get it. Some of the stuff will be old, but you might be able to get it on vintage. And if not, you can get similar. So the first thing I'm going to do is, oh also, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know this, because I've been banging on about it loads. I got this from, I mentioned in my home bargain video, I got the Dove Moose, and then loads of people are like, no, don't get the Moose. 
get the gradual tanning lotion so i went and got the gradual tanning lotion this was from boots it was half price i've used it now i think this is the fourth day i mean you're gonna go emma you look just as pace as you always looked but i do think it's starting to work a bit on my legs the smell does smell a bit biscuity but nothing that is that will put you off your tea. You're not going to sit there and be like, oh gosh, that smells are so overwhelming. So I have a shower, I put this on, I then wash my hands because loads of you said you'll get orange palms and my palms, as it stands, are not orange. I did notice today though that I've got like a big streak down one arm. Also guys, any self-tanning tips appreciated? Do I do my back? How do I self-tan my back? Do I get Steven to do it? What do I do? Let me know. But I'm enjoying this. I've got the light to medium results. Um, see see how, how it works out and I'll keep you posted. Right, let's get these dresses out of this wardrobe so we can get out this very, very warm dressing gown. Also, full disclosure, if you see this in the background, um, all the sheets are in the wash at the moment. So I'm washing all of the sheets. So the bed just looks like this. I've also got my outfit. I nearly said Harry Potter then. I got my outfit for Harry Styles here. <laughs> that nearly went by the candle, could you imagine? And I would have been, would have gone up in flames. Feather boa, I've got this ASOS dress, which will be perfect for a Disney trip. Um, so it's definitely something I'll wear again. And I'll wear this with cycling shorts. And Erin has got... A sim I'll show you what Erin's got actually. Erin's room has also got all the sheets. I did a big clean this morning, vacuums out. However, the vacuum has broke, so, but you know, that's, did a big clean, already clothed on the floor, so that's fun. So she is gonna wear a matching feather boa and she's torn between this kind of pink shiny dress, which she's gonna wear with a silver belt, sparkly belt. Of mine and also she's got these trousers she's got two options she's also got a cowboy hat i'm not wearing a cowboy hat um but we are going to be wearing some sort of matching glasses so maybe these ones we've got we've got loads of pairs of matching matching glasses so something similar to that but um definitely go and check out my instagram because whatever we wear will be up on there sorry did i just show you these trousers am i just repeating myself all these trousers um, and these will be going on holiday, they're really fun. So yeah, right, let's get these outfits out. If you like my wardrobes, I always get asked about them. These are Ikea, there's a whole video on my channel about them. I'm gonna go to my long frocks first. Um, and I'm gonna pull out some nice summery ones. I'll put, move that Harry. I keep wanting to say Harry Potter. These are two couple. I've got a few new Sainsbury's ones which I think you like. Um, this is a classic. I love this one. This was yours and it's pink. <laughs> Why am I telling you? It's pink. I really like that one. Um, this is, I'm going to try this on one, one on for you. This is in the style. It's another one. I want to take like seven dresses that I can wear. That is a nice one. That's, I think that's Primark. Um, that's a nice one. That is old Sainsbury's. Get her out. That's a nice, that is a nice one. Little Sainsbury's frock. Anything else that springs to mind? Um, so these are like my longer dresses. I had a sec, this section just there's no drawers in it or anything, so it can just go down to the floor. This is a very nice dress, but it's very hot. This is also a nice dress. Um, that is sheen with fake buttons. Um, I do like that one, but I... I do like that one. That might be an option. Okay. And I quite like that one as well. That one's, it's, it creases so easy. That was new look. And then this is like the shorter section. So I will pull out some dresses from here and show you what I got. Okay, I've got all the dresses out that I like. I think this, this is one of my fave um, 
like Disney frocks and it was, it's old and it was new look. Um, and it was a size 16. These do come up quite big, these kind of smock ones. And I think I might wear that on the plane with maybe some spiker shorts or something. And my denim jacket. So that is what I think I will wear on the plane. And then I've just gone for a selection of dresses. Um, ones that can be wear if we go somewhere nice. Ones that can be wore during the day. So I think what I will do is, oh, look at the bright colours. Look at the bright colours. I think I will try a few of these on for you. Maybe, um, yeah, I'll try a few of these on. I won't try this pink one on because you've seen that millions of times if you follow me on Instagram. Same with this green one. Um, but I will try a few of these on for you now and then I will talk about the kind of sewing costumes I'm going to take and shoes. So, uh, yeah, let's get this tripod set up. Actually, I've changed my mind. I've moved the mirror from the hall in here. So this is from Sainsbury's. It was new in. I cannot begin to express how much I love the Sainsbury's Fox at the moment. So if you have a little look, it's like geometric. It's really nice up here. This is just a nice kind of evening holiday summer dress but it's so light it could be worn during the day i'd wear it with my chub rub shorts i'll show you my chub rub shorts these are my chub rub shorts they look so funny when they're not on so they're from snag and i have them in this color which i think is builder's tea so it's like a nude color i've also got them in black i've got it in like fuchsia as well and they just stop your thighs rubbing together and i love them i don't feel hot when i'm wearing them I've got a few pairs of them. I've had these for a few years now, so they last, they don't run. They're just really, really good. And they just make me, my holiday just like a more pleasurable place. They're not tummy control or anything. It's just like having a pair of tights on that's cut off and doesn't roll up. I've also added these little shoes that I got from Sainsbow's as well, Sainsbury's. Um, I just think this is really, really, really cute. Do you know what? I'm going to have to go down and shut the room with the washing machine in because, you know, when it gets that stage of the the wash where it's just, like, losing its mind. <laughs> but, yeah, this is definitely an option. Very happy. And, you know, I love a belt. I don't think I'd add a belt with this. Um, I just really, really like it. This is another beautiful Sainsbury's dress. It is V-neck. It has elasticated waist here, and I probably could add a belt, I might add a belt with it, I've put it with a little Sainsbury's shoes, um, or my saltwater sandals, um, it's just so pretty, also guys, we need to get the tiki bar going, don't we, because this would be a perfect tiki bar dress, love it, it could do with pockets, I'm willing to pay the extra pound, or 50p, that it could have had a pocket, but I really love this frock as well, this is an in the style dress that Jess, on the plus size sent me a few months ago it's a little bit creased but again i would probably add a belt with this um with the little shoes or my saltwater sandals and i thought this would be an absolutely po it just it just says nice bum because <laughs> you know what i've got a nice bum i thought this would be perfect for a cinderella bound don't you think in florida don't you think it's just like the most perfect like Cinderella dress? And I find if you've got a bigger bust or you are like a bit more plus size, I think the tops with this, I don't know what the material is, you'll tell me. You know this kind of stretchy material. I think it's so flattering. So yeah, this is another option. I do wonder how I get rid of the creases whilst we're over there though. But um, yes, I like this a lot. I think it's a roller prodo. This is an old... Sainsbury's dress so it might be on vintage um, I wear this these are saltwater sandals I get a lot of questions about Disney shoes and I think when I go to Disney I will do like a Disney what I wear kind of video um, so these are saltwater sandals they last for years and years and years check the sizing I think you have to size up and then it's really funny you sit in the bath with them so they shrink but this is another beautiful dress. Again, 
I'd probably add a belt to it because um, actually this one is a little bit baggier but I thought the print was so pretty I feel pretty love it this is an old in the style dress um, it is gorgeous it's a little bit baggy around the top but I just love it it's, let me take those shoes I've not shown you those shoes go actually um, it's so pretty and if I get any sort of slight tan it would be nice <laughs> to look like a brown kind of Marilyn Monroe but you know it's more than likely I'm going to be pale and interested in it I've got two kind of uh, swimming costumes I went for this is it I don't know if it would be teal one from Cupshe which is it's definitely not tasseled it's got wiggly bits there and this cover-up from Primark which I showed in my haul and also these are great Havianas Havanias not sure how to pronounce them but these are so comfy sometimes actually these pair were from Costco but this is like a little pool option and I will show you my other pool option I think this is oh do you know what I feel I feel confident in this I feel, I feel like a classy lady. I feel like a classy lady in this, guys. That's made me happy. And remember, I was looking for a white shirt to go over my black costume. I've got this. I have no idea how crumpled this will get. Will I only wear it once? I don't know. But I've gone for Marks and Spencer's black costume. Um, with this white, I think they call it like cheesecloth or something from Primark and then this is a bag I bought last year uh, when we were on holiday and I thought what do we think is that a nice little oh <laughs> I've weirdly just got a bit emotional I think it's because there's been there's been years where I've gone on holiday and I've like done everything I possibly I don't know I just feel like this holiday I have really thought about what I wanted to wear, stuff I feel confident in, stuff that makes me feel really pretty. Is that daft for a 45 year old woman? And I just think that this is just like a nice classy look. And I really like it and I hope this shirt isn't ruined on the first day. But do you know what, I'll get some photos, I'll put them on my Instagram and you'll be able to see. I am gonna do um, a vlog while we're over there as well, so maybe I might, but. Maybe I might do a little reel. You know when they do those things like every, like a little clip every day of what they wore. But this has just made me feel, I just feel confident in what I'm taking. And I don't know if it's like the HRT has given me a bit of a boost and, but I'm just looking at my stuff and I think, oh yeah. Like I feel like I've got really nice clothes that make me feel comfortable I don't know does anybody out there know what the heck I'm talking about can you relate unsure what I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy all this big mess up now and I've actually got to go and watch my boy play football he's in a football tournament today so tomorrow or you know in the next second you'll come back and it'll be the bit where I'm like packing it all up um but yeah I do need to tidy it tidy it all up and yeah just feel very happy Hello, you lovely humans. <laughs> I've got a dress. I have got a dress on. Don't worry. I have got a dress, and I've been in the garden. <laughs> Let's put that up so you to prove I've got a dress on. Um, I've been in the garden. It's been a lovely sunny day today. So, kids are downstairs, which are program. Stephen's kind of tidying the garden up, and I thought I would pack my dresses. I'm going to pack my dresses and my swimwear and show you what. Also, I think. Oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. I think my little fake tan is starting to work a little bit. Just pretend. Just say, yes, Emma, you brown goddess, you. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. Stephen just said it was, so that's nice of him. Um, yeah, I'm going to um, pack all my bits. So I have got stuff on here. Uh, this is all the swimming costumes I'm taking and then I'm going to start making a pile of my dresses. You are going to watch this before we go away, so I can actually ask your advice. 
Um, I want to take one like wicker basket. Which one do you prefer? This is probably. Also, I don't know where this is from. Sorry. Where's this from? Is it ASOS maybe? Where's it from? Where are you from, little thing? Don't know. Don't know. You know, we used to have like a summer. That one or this one? Thoughts. Discuss. Um, and another thing I've just bought, which I thought was quite nice. I bought this Soleil, a shimmering after sun oil spray, which I thought, if I get a bit of a tan, I can put this on and have a bit of a shimmer. So that'll be quite nice. I'll let you know if it's any good. Um, so let's get the dresses. I always, always, always get lots of DMs saying, what packing cubes do you use, Emma? And literally, just go onto Amazon, type in packing cubes. They're all pretty much the same. They come in all sorts of different sizes and um, brands and pit patterns. So I have these ones because you know I am a lover of animal print. I've got these ones. And then we've got pale blue ones and we've got navy ones as well. So I'm going to pack my dresses. I am hoping they go into these two things and then I am going to put... Maybe my swimming stuff in this. So let's see if we can get all of that and this into these. That is the plan. Leave below. Multicoloured. Brown. Bag, please. Help me decide. And also this year, guys, I'm not going to forget my belts like I did last year. I'm not going to forget them. Okay, my lovely friends. We have got swimming and cover-ups in there and I'm going to put my Liam Gallagher hat from the <laughs> if that, that'll fit from the um, Primark video I did and someone was like I don't think Liam Gallagher is the sophisticated lady look you want to go for Emma then I've got dresses I actually managed to squeeze some pajamas in there so day dresses and evening dresses here I've started to collect my snags my knickers um, some like jazzy these are jazzy holiday I think we're going to have problems with these because this kit's falling off so I might have to, I don't know. That's not a you problem, that's a me problem. I'm going to put that over there. And um, my belt is going to have all like that kind. Of, these are like proper holiday earrings, aren't they? What do you think? I love them. And then the shoes I am taking, I'm going to be taking, I'm going to wear a pair. Um, so I don't know which ones I'm going to wear. But I'm going to take these for like an evening. These are like a little mule from Sainsbury's. My Javianas, which Erin um, also has a similar pair. She's a bit confusing. And my saltwater sandals. Uh, when we do Disney, I'm going to do a full best footwear for Disney, what to wear for Disney video. I'm going to take one of the wicker things. I usually have this big, massive beach bag, but we got this free when we went to Eurovision. And I just, does it say Moroccan oil? Sure. But I like it. It's massive. You can just throw it on your shoulder, fill it full of loads of stuff. And I just think, do you know what? I like it. And what else have I sorted out? Oh, also I'm putting all our suntan lotions in this, which is like, I don't know, a freebie that I've got with something. But um, suntan lotions, got my shimmer and um, this is what I had to use for the kids. P2050 Plus, which is really good. Stephen has opted to go for Aldi Suntan Lotion. Back to 30. And then I've got this Factor 50 as well. So that'll be for me and the kids, this one. And then I've got a Factor 50 uh, face mist for my face. So, um, that is that. So I think we're kind of getting there. I was watching YouTube video videos. I was watching YouTube videos there while I was in. Um, I think we're kind of getting there, which is really good. And by we, I mean me, because I pack everything. Stephen packs his own stuff though. So that's good, really excited. I feel really confident. I also, I don't know if you can notice from the last clip, I dyed my hair this morning. So the roots aren't quite so rooty, so that's nice. And I've been putting my fake tan on as well. So yeah, but when we go to Disney, I am going to do um, some proper wear with me videos and looking for stuff so yes i'm very 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 excited i am going to do a couple of vlogs when we're away so i look forward to that that'll be nice um always nice to see a bit of sun and also 
when we come back from holiday the bathrooms are going to be fitted so expect a couple of bathroom renovation videos we went yesterday and picked all the stuff however as we drove away we had regrets about the tiles and it's not open on a sunday so see if we've got a phone tomorrow and make some changes with the tiles because we both just the man suggested a colour and we were both like yeah yeah that sounds great and then as we left i was like i don't want that colour <laughs> so yeah that was fun yesterday we were in there for uh nearly three hours just walking around looking at toilets thinking you have to think of so, so much different stuff it's it's wild so really looking forward to show you that's so got lots of fun stuff of course there is always the podcast you can go and listen to it's actually on a break for a couple of weeks but if you haven't caught up with some episodes go back um on Friday, last Friday, I interviewed the director of Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret, which was an absolute flipping honour. And then it is going to be back in a week and a half after you've, the Monday after half term, it should be back. I've got already recorded three great guests and have got a couple more lined up and some very exciting things in the pipeline if they pan out. Definitely go and follow me over on Instagram and go and check out what we are up to when we're away. And also go and see... How Erin and I look to our beautiful Harry Styles. Right. right, guys, I love you lots, and I will see you very, 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 very soon. Have a lovely day. I hope it's sunny, and um, all comment, Emma, you look like a tanned goddess. <laughs>